palat. The word palat means to turn, to take a sudden sharp turn, turn over. Normally, we have our hands here in utputi position and the palat is done this way. It could be in any direction. Once again, it has to be incorporated with the wrist, the eye and the chin to get the right emphasis in whichever corner we target. When we are dancing, the way we use palat is with the footwork. The emphasis is louder. It's many a times we use it with jarab, something that is emphasizing your footwork or the percussion instrument, copying a percussion instrument. Da, te, te, da, da, a, te, te, da, 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 te, te, da, a, te, te, da, da. So turning over of the palm from a pataka mudra into arala. Then once again this arala changes into pataka and moves to arala again. The angles of your entire body also change because the arching is necessary when you do the palat. Palat is a combination of two kinds of movements. One is the circular and the second is sharp. So it's like a lyrical one enhanced with the sharpness that is needed. Many a times we use palat for doing jugal bandis because that is a time when a lot of spontaneity is required both by the percussion or the sitarist or whoever you're doing your jugal bandi with. A jugal bandi is a question and answer session between an instrumentalist and the dancer. So the bells and the percussion, the bells and the sitarist, the bells and the vocalist, whoever you're having this conversation with. Often we use palat to say, okay, I've, say, I've given you an answer, what do you say? And when, uh, when the question is asked, you then give another answer with an indication that you're ready for the next one. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I will be uploading a new video every Wednesday. So, subscribe to this channel and stay connected. You can also like, comment, share and send your feedback. Happy dancing!